Five police in Marin County arrested the Shoreline Unified School District superintendent on suspicion of lewd acts with a minor. Robert Patrick Raines had previously been placed on administrative leave. He's now accused of sexually assaulting a child under the age of 14. This evening, San Jose's mayor is trying to pass groundbreaking and controversial new gun laws. KPI X5's Kit Doe on how it could get more expensive to own guns in San Jose. Kit? Yeah, we're live here at the VTA mass shooting memorial uh, site here at City Hall, taking a look at some big gun control ideas that have never been done before in our country. And so Mayor Sam Licardo has a big, long legal battle ahead of him. It has been 13 days since the VTA shooting massacre, and the timing and the place of the mayor's announcement is no accident. With council approval, San Jose would become the first city in the United States to require every gun owner to have liability insurance coverage for their firearms. Second, San Jose would become the first U.S. city to require gun owners to pay a fee to compensate taxpayers for the public cost of responding to gun violence. For the proposed gun insurance, Mayor Licardo says for some owners, it will be little to no extra cost since some already have it as part of their homeowner's policy. As for the annual gun fee, the mayor will convene a team of experts to set the amount. We are cognizant of the Second Amendment dictates so that we will not be imposing fees that are so great as to be prohibitive to ownership. Uh, but we want a fee that will compensate taxpayers for the cost of everything from emergency rooms to police response. I strongly believe that Mayor Licardo is trying to do things that he has no authority to do. Sam Paredes is the executive director of Gun Owners of California, who is forming a coalition of other gun rights groups who are ready to sue. Paredes says California has a longstanding preemption law that prevents the hundreds of local governments from passing a patchwork quilt of different laws. That's why no other city has, has successfully done what the mayor is proposing to do. It is, we believe, very strongly unconstitutional for the government to require law-abiding citizens who are doing nothing more than exercising their Second Amendment rights to be required to have insurance or to be uh, taxed. Kit, did the mayor say anything about the legal battles ahead? Yeah, you know, he didn't seem too phased by it. He came off as uh, pretty confident, saying that he's been working with a team of uh, experts from across the country for the past year and a half. He says they're going to carve a path forward that is both constitutional and legally sustainable. All right, Kit, thanks.